What's going on, everybody? Brian Magalio on here post game after St. Mary's ties with UT Tyler one to one here in the regular season finale at home for St. Mary's, completing an undefeated home season. Coach, congratulations on the draw, which clinches the regular season championship for the Rattlers and home field advantage for the Lone Star Conference championship. Before we get into all that, let's talk a little bit about this evening's match. What did you see from your team? Your team was able to get the, the draw that you guys needed to clinch this. Yeah, we just, I mean, like, there's no secret that was not our best game of the year. Uh, we were flat, we were quiet. Uh, you know, and senior nights happen like that sometimes. Sometimes it gives you a little extra motivation and everyone plays a little harder. And, you know, sometimes because of the change in schedule, the timing being different, it leads to what you saw tonight. And I thought we were flat, uninspiring from us. But, you know, as you said, we got the job done. We take that before the season. Uh, we've done well to come back from adversity. That's the first time we've been down at halftime in a game. So uh, to come back, it means a lot. And, you know, we're champions now. So I uh, can't take that away from us. You mentioned senior day this afternoon. We got to honor your seniors. Senior day, always emotional, as you mentioned. What has this senior class meant to you and your program? Yeah, they, they've been they've been fantastic. Keen Foley, uh, you know, he, he's been here for, for years now. Obviously, Lewis Wilson, who, who never, never got celebrated tonight because of last year. Uh, Jose Yano, who's been here all the way back since 2019 as well. Uh, Denny Cresto, who's just been a, an unbelievable servant to this program and, and a great leader. And then the, the transfers that we've had that we've been able to celebrate our senior night as well. Leo, uh, Jaleel, uh, you know, they've just been fantastic. Ariel, I mean, I can't say enough about those guys. They, they deserve what they got. Uh, that's the second regular season championship we've had here. So, you know, those seniors, those seniors deserve it. They've led all season uh, and, you know, they led tonight as well. And helping with the celebration, some members of that 2019 team. Really nice to see some familiar faces come back here at Sigma Beta Chi Field. But the job's not done yet. You guys have one more game to close out the regular season before looking forward to hosting here at home the conference championships. What do you look to? What do you look forward to most about this opportunity moving forward and being able to host here at home? Yeah, it makes a big a big difference when you can when you can host the tournament, right? We get to sleep in our own beds. We get to stay at home every night. We get to play on our field, and and that'll be a huge difference for us. Uh, we, we we had a huge goal to win this conference this year. Now that it's accomplished, you know, we'll take a couple of days to reset. We'll celebrate the high as much as it wasn't our best performance tonight. Champions find a way to get it done, and, and we found a way to get it done tonight. And, you know, we'll celebrate and we'll get ready for Tammy U. Our rivals on Saturday down in Laredo. It's never easy to play, so we'll be ready to go. Well, we look forward to seeing the regular season finale in Laredo this Saturday. For the Rattlers, plenty more soccer to be played here at Sigma Beta Chi Field as they have clinched home field for the Lone Star Conference Championship. For more on your Rattlers, be sure to check out rattlerathletics.com.